Hi everyone, I just wanted to show in this kind of, not really a tutorial, more like just showing capabilities of Topologic, how you can analyze uh, an IFC file uh, by looking at its graph, basically by looking at what is connected to what. Uh, so this is a duplex.ifc file uh, that I found online, that I downloaded, it's one of those standard test cases. Um, but as you can see here, like from the 3D object, you can't really tell if the uh, file is well formed, whether um, components are related to each other correctly. Like, you know, does the IFC, sp IFC space connect to the slab and to the floor correctly? Are all the walls connected or not? So Topologic Pi allows you to, to do that. Now I have to uh, also give uh, credit to Bruno Postel who actually uh, wrote the initial code for finding out uh, the relationships uh, in an IFC file uh, and he has some really interesting uh, Python code that uh, he generously shared with me. So if we look at uh, the script, this is in Jupyter Notebook. So let me uh, hide this. Uh, and it's not this one, actually it's this one. So this is, uh, this is the code. Um, I will try to uh, include that uh, in Topologic Pi, but I'm really now just experimenting. Um, but if you run this code, uh, you will get uh, the graph uh, where every node in this graph uh, represents uh, an element, an IFC element, as you can see here. This is uh, IFC furnishing element. Uh, this is an IFC wall standard case. So you can get those and you can see that kind of it, um, this is the kind of each one is at the center or centroid of the IFC element. So it kind of has the same overall shape as this duplex, original duplex file. Uh, but then what you can do is you can uh, flatten, you can flatten this graph here, as you can see. And, um, but that also not very good for uh, analysis because the flattening Kind of creates this kind of circular uh, layout but I can't really move them or do anything like that and it's hard to see what is connected to what so I decided to do a, a pivot graph from it so as you can see I took the flattened graph and uh, I sent it to, to pivot and uh, if I run that one more time so that you can see it uh, real life kind of real in real time I mean so that's the flattened graph, and this is now uh, Pivus graph loading. <clears throat> Almost there, here we go. So now you could see the graph is uh, a lot more useful uh, because these are interactive and you have filters here, you know, drop down menus that you can filter. But also you can see that there are some elements that are isolated. So that is an opportunity to investigate a little bit more and see like why is this element, is, why is this IFC uh, space by itself, etc. Uh, but everything here is uh, available and you can then um, try to fix things if they need to be fixed or, or analyze the file in, in different ways. So I hope this was useful uh, just to show you some of the uh, possibilities in Topologic Pi.